Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 10 is almost here. Episode 9 was pretty good. I was one of those people that liked it. I need to watch it again and sort of try to gather my thoughts together a little more thoroughly. But my overall initial reaction to Episode 9 was positive. I liked it. So, I'm hoping that the rest of 10B is good. At least most of the, most of the episodes are really good, hopefully. Maybe we'll get the, the, the like the beginning of the Whisper War. I mean, 10B has the potential. When you think about it, 10B has the potential to be really crazy and action packed. We're going to be getting the princess. We're going to be getting probably the the woman that Eugene's talking to on the radio. The Commonwealth. The beginning of the Whisper War. Alpha's death. Possibly other characters dying, Michonne finding out that Rick is alive. So it has the potential to be really action packed and not have too much filler. But it could be bad, it could be good. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be good. But yeah, episode 10 is almost here. It, it airs this Sunday. And I'm excited for this episode. It looks like it's going to be a big beta episode. And I'm a big beta fan, big fan of Ryan Hurst, the actor. I liked beta in the comics. And I feel like he's being adapted really well. And and the, the, the decision to cast Ryan Hurst as beta was just genius. Just complete genius. He's perfect. So this looks like it's going to be a big episode for him. Like, he, he could kill a few characters that we like in this episode. He does it in the comics. Well, he does. He, he kills. He brutally kills Gabriel, but I mean, maybe he does it in this episode. I don't know. I mean, it looks like he and Gabriel are going to be in the same area, so I don't know. Probably not, but who knows? But it, Beta could end up killing someone in this episode, because I mean, for for one thing, he's he's just such a beast. He's just such a force of nature, and he he really is a threat to the good guys. He's coming to Alexandria. He's coming to get Gamma. We see in the previews that Gamma is locked up. She like she's locked up at Alexandria. She's talking to the council. She probably wants to be with her niece or whatever or, or she wants to be protected from Alpha and Beta, you know, Beta's like the terminator. You know, he's coming. He's he's he's, he's coming to with he's got one mission, you know, and he's going to do that mission no matter what. Alpha wants him to capture Gamma and bring her to them because they found out that Gamma is a traitor to them. Gamma is the spy they're looking for because Gamma d doesn't believe in Alpha anymore. She wants to help the good guys and she wants to be with her niece. But yeah, so Beta is on a mission to capture Gamma and bring her to Alpha so Alpha can publicly execute her in front of her whole camp of Whispers. So that's what Beta's mission is. And... I think characters like Rosita, Gabriel, Scott, Laura, whoever's around, whoever's in this episode, they could all, any of them could potentially die, like, protecting Gamma from Beta, like, maybe Gamma's in her cell, and Beta's about to get her, and, and someone like Scott or Rosita is, is fighting Beta, and Beta kills them, you know, violently kills them because he's so strong, or, so, or something like that. We also see in the episode that Daryl Daryl looks like he's wounded. He, he looks like he's in in some sort of fight. So maybe he ends up getting into a fight with Beta or Alpha. I don't know. There's a part in one of the teasers where Alpha is bloodied. So maybe this is the fight scene that's between her and Daryl. I don't know. But I have a feeling this is going to be an episode where there's some, some crazy stuff happening. Like, we could be losing one or two or three characters. Probably not three. Maybe one or two characters in this episode. And I don't know who. I, I really don't know who. Um, <laughs> I, I, I want to say Gabriel's going to be okay because it's just... It's too early for him. Maybe season 11... Season 11, I'm more worried about Gabriel than season 10. In, in, in these previews, we see Gabriel with people. He's he's in like some sort of attack group or something. And he's he's with them and he's pointing his gun at someone. So I feel like Gabriel's safe. It looks like he's going to be with people most of the episode. He's not going to have like a one-on-one -on -one with Beta. I mean, he still could. He could do both. He could end up having a one-on-one -on -one with Beta and Beta kills him. Uh, Rosita could. Scott could. It could be one or two of them. Maybe Beta kills them both. They they need to make Beta a threat. They, the writers need to make Beta a threat. So I really wouldn't be surprised if he kills someone in this episode. 
we really haven't had a, a sad confirmed death other than Sadiq so far this season. We don't know about Connie and Magna, so they don't necessarily count. They could be alive, so we we could definitely be getting the next big death in this episode. I'm a little bit worried about Rosita. Uh, I'm 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 really kind of worried about Rosita. <laughs> uh, I I just I love her so much, and and she's one of the last characters, one of the last like four or five characters from all the way back in season four that's still around. There's I mean there's, forget about the first three seasons, they're all gone. Like Rosita's the only one from like season four, like one of like three four characters that are on the show right now. So. And like we've spent seven years with her, so I'm just kind of I'm really worried about her. She 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 said that line to Gabriel about how y y me and Sadiq were the the blood relatives of Coco, and Sadiq's dead, so I can't die because if I die, Coco won't have any blood parents, blood relatives, and I feel like they had her say that because she's about to die, <laughs> so. I don't know, and we also see her getting attacked by by a whisper. Her and Coco are getting attacked by a whisper, like in her house or something. So I don't know, and we 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 know that Beta goes to Alexandria because he, we we see him going through a tunnel, and they've already released the opening minutes. He he goes into into some RV, and goes through a tunnel underground. So he is going to Alexandria to get Gamma. So, yes, someone could die, Gamma could die, Gamma might die, Gamma might commit suicide so that Beta can't get to her, or maybe Beta accidentally kills her, I don't know. I really don't know who's going to die, I just feel like someone will, maybe one or two characters will die in this episode, and I'm a little worried about Rosita. Hopefully she pulls through, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, so we'll see. But, yeah... Those are pretty much my predictions. Again, I don't know exactly who's going to die. I just feel like someone will. At least one character will. So, I don't know. Let me know who you think it'll be. Let me know what you think will happen in this episode. Let me know what your theories are. And as always, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day. So please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 769 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 800 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 800. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.